CVS paid $21 billion 10 years ago for, for Caremark at the time. You know, yeah. did we really think that was a good deal? But I think everyone right now is trying to replicate what United Health has done with Optum. And you see the success that United Health has had. The only question and concern that I have is for CVS, they only have about $2.5 billion in cash. They have a right. tremendous and amount of debt. debt. Already. They have about yeah. $26 billion in debt. So you're, wow. you're, you're really levering up on this. And now you're into a business where you're assuming health insurance risk that's completely different than the business they've been in now. But you're, you're taking on an insurer that already knows how to do that. And the idea now in healthcare, where you're seeing all these partnerships that are vertically integrated, so you've got hospitals doing joint ventures with insurers. The reason you want that PBM is you want to be able to have that continuum of care and you want to be able to have value all the way through. And, and Mark Bertolini is a really smart guy, the Aetna CEO. The question is, is, is this something that he would be heading up? I don't know where you get down with it. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine that he would leave. He would have to be an integral part of this. And he has certainly been someone who has been angling at the transformation with the humanity a deal not going through. Right. That was about scale and insurance overall. But even there, it was about innovation and trying to have more services. How much of this do you think is about Amazon and Amazon applying and getting the, you know, the license yep. uh, for wholesale pharmacy in 13 states? Is this about Amazon? That's part of it, obviously, to defend against them. I think when you get a big player like that, that could change the pricing paradigm. It's going to make everybody rethink what they're doing. But again, the Amazon threat could be overstated. Remember, it was a few years ago when everybody was all concerned because Walmart all of a sudden started offering generics at $4 a piece in the cash market. Well, CVS has replicated that and everyone else has replicated that. The other day I got a, a, a generic for my mom and it was only $2 copay. And the standard used to be 10. So it is going to compress margins for everyone having scale makes that easier to take. For consumers, potentially, it could mean much better value. I mean, now that you can get a generic for $2, mm. that's really a lot better than, than what it used to be. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.